And when I heard that he was attached to it, I was very happy about that because I felt like I've been a uh, fan of him as a, as a person, a very beautiful person, the person who you can always feel like you can talk to, somebody you can relate to. Second of all, his physique, you know, who he is as a person. He has a lot of charm. Um, he has a lot of qualities that as a guy you're like I want to be that guy and I just felt like it was really good to have him back in the genre so right off the bat that he was attached I was like I want to be that guy to get him back to the genre also be that guy to really you know be with him on this journey um, and I think the audience love him they love him in this genre and I just felt like with him being attached it really made me more want to get involved with the movie because I felt like this, this movie was written just for him. That's what Dwayne Johnson brings to the movie. Um, um, you know, immediately, he has that charm, that face, that makes you want to root for him. On top of the storytelling of a, of a young man who lost one, his brother, the one person that means something to him, a guy who comes from a family of a father who really disowned him, um, to a young man who lost a potential family those things immediately get you behind this character. Um, and once you find out that, okay, the guy who I was not supposed to like is the one I'm rooting for, it completely changes your mind. And I think that's what works really great for the movie is that there's a lot of twists, there's a lot of turns, there's a lot of different uh, areas that you thought was happening that's not as happening. And I think that's a good thing is being entertained. And it goes back to the movies that we grew up in watching in the 70s is that all these characters are like life. We all change each day in our moments and our emotion change. And sometimes we do wrong, but at the very end of the day, we're going to do the right thing. And that's what happens throughout the movie. The Western feel is very important throughout the film. First of all, if you, you have a leading character who doesn't have a name. It's kind of like reminds you of the old Clint Eastwood movies, The Man With No Name. Uh, second of all, as the character doesn't really talk throughout the film, he comes into town as an anti-hero, but then ends up leaving the film as a hero. And I think those were the ideas of the Western kind of influences that we brought to the film. Also, um, the showdown. Um, there's a showdown between all the three characters. Um, very, very close to, again, Clint Eastwood movie, The Good, The Bad, and Ugly. All three different characters and how they all come together. Um, musically, I think it's very important how music is used throughout the film. Each character have their own music, their own theme. Um, very, very heavily influenced from the Westerns. Each character have their own car, the way they drive. Dwayne drives the SS Chevelle. Killer drives the Ferrari. Cop drives the Coupe. You know, so they all got their own car. They all have their own gun, just like in the Western. Dwayne has the Ruger, you know. Killer has the Beretta. Cop has the Glock. They all have their own weapons, their own intentions ready for battle. And at the very end, it's just a showdown at the OK Corral, you know. So all those avenues are there. And I think Westerns are very influenced in a lot of movies and dramas all over. There's things that we always love, and I always love to embrace that. Um, and just like in the Westerns, you know, you're out in the desert. we out Bakersville, you know, Palmdale. we out there in the middle of the desert where it gets hot in the middle of the day, cold at the end of the night. So all these things are all embraced, and those are the things that we talked about when we were uh, preparing for the film. Right off the bat, we're trying to f see who can play cop. You know, who's the who's the right actor. Um, I always been a big, big fan of Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, when I first met him, we went to his house, um, took us downstairs to the basement. He's a musician, also has his own studio. So we sit in the middle of the studio and we talk. And right off the bat, as he started talking, I was like, "This is the guy. That, uh, this is the guy." I didn't really want to meet anybody after that. I felt like he was the guy for the role. He totally understood the character. What I really like is the idea of here's a man who's really on his last leg. It's a man who's trying to win and respect um, a former drug addict, or maybe still a drug addict. Um, at the same time, he's trying to win back his son, trying to win back his wife, trying to win back his respect. And this is all coming from an honest place. 
and he has one last chance to win the respect and the force. If I could just catch this guy, the driver. And to have that vulnerability, but also that gray area, he's a guy that has flaws. And I think Billy Bob Thornton as an actor can play that very well. Being able to play that, yes, I have flaws, but I'm trying, I'm trying to move beyond that. Um, and I thought that, that was something great that he brought to the role. The title means several things, faster, five days. At the same time, um, you know, from underneath the subtextual level is that sometimes we move very fast to try to achieve a goal with no stopping, no time to look around, no time to really rethink what we're doing. Um, sometimes it can cause us to make the wrong choices or let us real, not realize our circumstances, certain things that we do and how it affects other people. And that's what happened with these three guys. They're all moving so fast to try to accomplish a goal. Driver's trying to kill all these guys a certain amount of time. Killer's trying to stop him. Cop is trying to stop everybody. And they're moving so fast, they don't realize the choices they're making are affecting those around them, those that they love. And not till the very end, they realize their choices. And it's about faster. Sometimes it's about slowing down and looking at things around us. And um, so it's, to me, that title is not all about speed, about movement but it's about the realization when you don't stop and look around and think about your choices.